Number 16. Find the number that is 5 twelfths of the way from negative 3 and a third to 8 and a half. So to find this number, we have to start by finding the total distance between these two numbers. And then what we can say is, well, what's 5 twelfths of that distance? And then start here and move that distance to the right. So let's, what's that going to look like? So the distance between negative 3 and a third to 8 and a half is just 8 and a half minus negative 3 and a third, which will be the same thing as 8 and a half plus 3 and a third, which is equal to 11 and 5 sixths. So the total distance is 11 and 5 sixths. And so we want to find the number that's 5 twelfths of the way. Take this, multiply it by 5 twelfths, and if you kind of imagine a number line, this is negative 3 and a third. And over here, this is 8 and a half. Then the number 5 twelfths away, okay, so that's half, so 5 twelfths will be like around here. So this will be where the number we're looking for is. So 11 and 5 six times 5 twelfths gives us a distance of... Okay, 11 and 5 sixths times 5 twelfths gives us a distance of 355 over 72. So this distance right here is 355 over 72. So you can see all we have to do to find this number is just say, well, you start at negative 3 and a third and move 355 over 72 to the right. Or, in other words, take negative 3 and a third and add 355 over 72. So negative 3, three and 1 third, negative, um, So negative 3 and 1 third plus 355 over 72. We get 115 over 72, and that's answer choice C. All right, so if you have any questions about the test, make sure to leave a comment, and I'll make a video with a solution. With that said, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.